Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm a music therapist working in Melbourne, Australia. My primary work is working with people in a community palliative care setting. Since I began working in this setting, I've noticed an increase of referrals to address anxiety. I don't think that anxiety is something that's unique to palliative care. Some of the characteristics can be found in other settings, including the everyday population. I'm sure that from my presentation today, you can apply the information to your own work or even your own personal situation. So more specifically, I'll briefly outline what's going to be included in this tutorial. Basically, I will talk you through an initial music therapy session with a new client and outline how to assess, plan, and construct basic music-based relaxation. So if you already have some experience in this area, I think you will still take away some new ideas that you can consider incorporating into your current program. The things I present might validate what you're currently doing or simply allow you to articulate the process or some of the points to yourself or to others a little bit better. If anything, it'll be an opportunity to reflect on what you are doing and how you're doing it. So I became really interested in how to treat anxiety in palliative care, which is an environment where time is of the essence and the goals at the end of life are to be comfortable and at peace. Not only that, but usually by the time people are referred to music therapy, they've tried everything else and they're really quite desperate to find some relief. Sadly, some of the people I've worked with in palliative care situations chose to live a lifetime with anxiety or worry without ever having to have an opportunity to work it out. A few years ago, I found myself in a difficult assessment with a man who was going through a really long terminal illness and he carried PTSD from a highly stressful and dangerous workplace. When I finally got to the bottom of, of, of his anxiety and started to work with it, he responded really well to what I had to offer. He began sleeping without nightmares, and he gained the ability to compartmentalize his trauma through his own creative process. Our therapeutic journey went on for many sessions, and I became increasingly curious about how I could refine my skills in this area to become better at getting to the outcomes a little bit sooner and with more directive techniques. So I looked into extra training, reflected a lot on my interactions with clients, and began to hone my music therapy resources to best suit my clients. And over the years, I finally feel like I have a good framework to guide the process. So the intervention that I feel most comfortable in addressing anxiety and palliative care is the use of music-based relaxation. And it just happens to be the topic of this tutorial. <laughs> So of course, all clients are unique and some are even complex, which provides the challenge in our work. And this always inspires me to continue developing my skills in this area. I'm always learning and adding to what I've done as I'm sure you'll do in your own work. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. 